And finally, what you've all been waiting for, I got a queen, and she was free. Yes, every order came with a free queen. That's just amazing. Okay, guys, welcome to the third episode of Ant World. I'd like to start off by asking you guys a question. I don't know how often you want me to update these, these Ant Worlds. So I don't want to, like, block up people's subscription feeds and they're like, oh my god, why is she uploading another video about ants? Personally, for me, I find them incredibly fascinating, but um, I just don't know whether to update them maybe once a week or wait a little bit longer or a little, little bit less. So just let me know in the comment section below if you actually like really enjoy these. That'll be a great help to me. So basically, I film with a USB microscope. Um, it's really, really good and I can get them pretty close. So I'm going to go through and just show you some of the footage I picked up in the last few days. Firstly, I would like to say though that I did move the queen as she got settled in the magnifying dish and that's somewhere where I was planning to add their food in and I didn't want to keep disturbing her so I actually moved her into the main nest. I hoped that the workers would follow her, pick up her pheromones, take the brood up there, but they didn't. So that's why she's in different places than the workers, but um, let's have a look at the footage. I read that protein is really good for the queen and as I have lots of crickets where I have geckos I found a freshly dead one now to ensure that it was definitely dead even though I'm pretty sure it was but I just didn't want it to be eaten alive if it was slowly dying that would just be horrible so to ensure it's actually dead I cut its head off um, and I think the ants liked it to be honest Now for some quick changes I made to the setup. Firstly, I noticed that none of the ants could access the tubing. For some reason, they couldn't get up to the hole that was in the magnifying dish and through the tubing. So I made a little bamboo bridge for them. It sort of worked, but they would sort of sit in the tubing right at the start and just not go any further. So then I went and got a twig from outside and that actually did spark a lot more interest but still it wasn't fully working and it's only when I noticed that one of the workers that I put in the main nest when it was coming down the tubing it had a lot of trouble gripping and it sort of fell down and that's when I realised that I think there's a massive problem with the tubing if they can't come down it properly there's no way they could go up it properly so I cut the tubing to make it quite small I then put the magnifying dish at the same height as the nest and I figured right there's a straight line from the dish to the nest this is perfect and I also moved the queen back to the dish where she could be tended to by the workers and she can also be by the brood but you have to see more about that in the next episode thank you very much for watching as always and goodbye <laughs> <laughs>